Hi, welcome back to EducateTube.com and I'm Sipsky, your host. Today I'll be showing you how to hook up external monitor to your Sony A7 or the A6300 which I have right now. Now, I'm very cheap, as you know, you've been watching all my video. I don't like to spend thousands of dollars or hundreds of dollars on something I could build myself. So I saw, I have two VGA monitor. You know those monitor that people throw away because it's not useful anymore? A 17 inch monitor or a 19 inch monitor they, they used to put with a computer for Window XP or Window Millennium or Window 7 even. And I see that when I go to like different um, second hand stores and it's like tons in the shelf and it's just sitting there, you know, nobody really care much about. Well, I'm going to show you right now that you can actually hook up that monitor to your Sony A7s or the uh, Sony A6300 or the 6000 series. Now the reason you want to do that is a 17 inch monitor, not the 7 inch, right? So you know, you could actually convert that. And I'm going to show you how to do that. that now you know, when uh, Sony built this here, this is a um, uh, Sony uh, A5000, right? And I have a very nice lens here, this is a Sigma lens. Uh, what is it now? This is a 1750 millimeter 2.8 uh, fixed uh, aperture lens. Very beautiful lens. Uh, comes um, in, a, I think, image stabilizer as well, optical stabilizer. Anyway, let's not talk about the lens. Let's talk about the uh, display. So one thing I like about uh, the uh, A5000, as you can see here, it has a flip-up screen like that. The A5100 uh, also have this ability as well but not the uh, A6000 series and the A7 series which is too bad so I decided well I want to get one but you know I look up online Sony has a 7 inch um, uh, display for the camera but it's like 700 US dollars I'm like that's just crazy and then of course you can uh, buy it on uh, online uh, like third party one round couple hundred bucks but still I have this monitor and I'll show you right now that's lying around I decided well you know what it's not acceptable we need to reuse and not throw away things so here it is I'll show you right now in fact look at this look at this huge monitor you see that can you see that ho ho so I built this myself um, as you can see here is uh, fixed to the tripod right so the base is uh, fixed to the tripod itself this tripod is an old tripod um, so let me show you let me come down a little bit here see there we go see there's a tripod there and uh, here's the base and I put um, first I drill a hole here and I, I put a screw and then I tighten it with a bolt and then of course I put um, um, steel wire around it to to keep it steady and uh, stable it's a little bit wiggly still but it's all right you know the monitor itself costs no more than let me bring it back up again the monitor itself does not cost more than um, 20 or 30 bucks right you can buy it second hand this is a 17 inch monitor Acer monitor and uh, the uh, tripod is a couple bucks um, you probably can get it for free if you know your friend who might uh, want to give away the tripod but anyway um, the, the important thing is of course to hook it up because this is a VGA right and you know the A7000 uh, oh sorry the A7 or the A6000 series um, has an HDMI so you cannot hook it up directly so what you need to do is you need to buy this uh, special adapter I don't know if you can see here there it is okay this one here is called C2G um, Pro VGA2 HDMI and I'm going to show you the link you can check it up somewhere on the top hand uh, right hand corner or the top left hand corner it's around it runs about it's a very small box because like of this size here as you can see right so here's the VGA uh, connector right here and here is the um, HDMI uh, out and go into the camera itself right actually the camera this HDMI is going coming from the camera towards the monitor okay so this box itself is pretty expensive it's about uh, 60 bucks US but it's worth it you see now you have a 60 bucks US you can and then a uh, 30 uh, dollar monitor 17 inch monitor and now it works perfectly as you can see here now this monitor can be used 
to film my uh, YouTube videos. Now let me show you from the other side. I'm going to bring this over. As you can see, it's pretty easy to... It's a little bit heavy, but I can move it. Right? Move it to the other side. I'm going to show you right now. Okay. <clears throat> there we go. Pretty nice. Alright, so let me sit down. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to record it from this camera. And so you can see from the other angle how I'm doing this. Alright. There we go. As you can see, there it is. Okay, so um, I'll show you. There is the monitor on the tripod. And there is my uh, Sony A6300. And that's how it's set up. Pretty cool. Look at how big that screen is. Oh, and it's... Oh my goodness, the image is amazing. <laughs> the quality of this image. Um, can't go wrong with this. Oh my goodness, that's that's just beautiful. This A6300 is a beautiful camera. Now I wouldn't be able to tell you with a small screen, but on a big screen like the 17 inch monitor like this one here, wow, it's it's magnifique. Anyway, so very easy setup. Uh, like I said, you need this special adapter. This is the one that you want. Okay, let me see if we can focus on this. There we go, there it is. This is what you want, C2G HDMI to VGA adapter. Okay, and it looks oops, like here. Okay, this this box here. That's what it looks like. Let's see if you can zoom in. There it is. Okay. That's the one that you want. There is the VGA from the monitor. This is the HDMI from the um, the Sony from the Sony. Uh, A6300. Thanks for watching EducateTube.com. Next week I'll show you how to build a UMPC computer. What does the UMPC stand for? Ultra Mobile Personal Computer. They used to make it a couple years ago, maybe about five years ago. I love that thing. It was so compact, the size of a palm. But now it's not in the market anymore. I mean. You can buy it on auction for around a couple of thousand dollars uh, if it's still in existence. But basically, it's a computer size of a camera. You know, it's it has Windows XP, or some of them may even have Windows, I think, uh, seven. But anyway, most of them are made uh, installed with uh, Windows XP. So I'll show you next week how to build one of those. It's gonna be amazing. Thanks for watching. Educate2.com. Okay, so here's the monitor and the base. So we're gonna drill a hole here so we can put in the tripod. You can try to find the center in which you can actually um, able to put the uh, screw in somewhere in the center so that you can balance off the monitor. The monitor is quite heavy. So remember, this is a 17 inch monitor. Uh, so we could drill a hole right in the middle, close to the middle and allow it to stand on its own. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, as you can see, I drill a hole into the base of the monitor, and I put this screw um, that will fit my tripod, and just mount it onto the base like this. See? And then what we're gonna do is gonna use the head screw to screw both in tight. And while you have is a tripod, and the base, and the 17-inch uh, monitor. I actually have a 19 inch as well, I could do both, but I'm just going to use 17 for now. And uh, I could have two tripod with 17 19. Remember, this monitor, you can get it at, uh, you know, those local um, second-hand store for around 20, 30 bucks. And with the right module, this one here, I'm going to show you later, you could hook it up from VGA to HDMI. Right, this one is called, let me see. Um, C2G HDMI to VGA or VGA to H HDMI connection and you get a really awesome external monitor for your Sony A7 or A6000 cameras yeah and instead of spending thousands of dollars on these external monitor you can reuse this instead of throwing the garbage it's actually been better than those 7 inch or 5 inch external monitor because they're so small this one is a 17 and a 19 inch monitor. Woohoo! On a tripod.